Uh, you'll have to forgive me if I seem a bit nervous. Not many people travelling in this part of Ferelden. Of course, that's part of my problem, isn't it? Mule got spooked by a wisp and ran off into the woods. Now what do I do? Oh, no, 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 I sent the elf to do that. I wouldn't dream of asking a stranger to do it. Allow me to introduce myself. Felix de Grosbois, merchant and entrepreneur at your service. I don't normally take this route, but with the war, I was hoping for a bit of luck and good weather in the mountains. Sadly, I've had neither. Ugh, this trip has been one miserable disaster after another. I don't suppose you consider helping a fellow out? No, but maybe you could make an exception. Of all the other things that went wrong, the worst is this artifact I brought in Jada. It's a control rod, I'm told, for a golem. No point in me keeping it, however, as I'll never get to use it. But, uh, maybe you could? The catch? Uh, yeah, I, uh, suppose it is a catch, isn't it? The catch is that the golem didn't come with the rod. Even if I could get down there, which I can't, <laughs> I understand the place has been overrun by Darkspawn. That's not such an issue for adventurous types like yourself, surely? Or I'm hoping that's so, at least. Nothing. To be honest, I don't even know if it'll be useful to you. I've paid too much to simply throw it away. The dwarf I brought it from said it activates and controls a golem. So long as you have it in your hand, the golem does what you say. Might be useful, no? Just as well. As I mentioned before, you'll find the golem down south, in a town called Honleith. Just hold up the rod and say Dulaf Gar. That will wake the golem up, so I'm told. I hope it works. Maybe you could look up the fellow who owned the golem before. If he's still about, that is. <laughs> Best of luck to you, then.
As you say. This is a golem, I believe. Damaged, perhaps beyond repair. As you say.
by the Maker, we're saved. You weren't sent by the ban, were you? To save us? So we could have just starved down here? The band gave up on us? <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful that someone came at all then. Thank you. But if you weren't sent by someone, why are you here? If you don't mind me asking. A merchant? Why would a merchant... Oh, I think I see. This is about shale, isn't it? I should have known. That damnable golem brought us nothing but trouble. My mother sold the rod years ago after it killed my father, and good riddance! My father's name was Wilhelm, mage to the Isles of Redcliffe and a hero in the war against Orlais. And what did he get? One day, my mother found him outside the tower, with so many broken bones she could barely recognize him, and Shale standing over him just like it is now. My father deserved better than that. But if you really want to wake Shale up, well, it's yours now. Look, I know you probably have more important things on your mind, but I really need your help. I know you already saved my life, and I'm grateful, but my daughter is inside the laboratory. I don't know how she made it past my father's defenses. One of the men tried to go after her. He was killed, but you could find her, couldn't you? How to activate it? We just used the control rod and the code phrase. Or did Mother give them the wrong one? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. If so, I'll gladly tell you the proper phrase. Just save my little girl, I'm begging you! There are defenses my father put down here to keep strangers out. I knew about the barrier, I, I had the key for that. But the rest of it, well, we never came down here, ever. You will? Thank the Maker! My father's laboratory is just past the next area, I think. She has to be there. come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us, too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Kitty's clever. She says you want to take me back to my father, but I'm not going. She would be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. 
I am a cat. Really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Oh. Did you hear that, Amalia? I have another admirer. That's because you're wonderful, Kitty. I have been bound to this chamber for decades, cut off from all contact. It has been maddening. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect. I'm pretty. Very well. As you say. What do you wish of me? I like it when Kitty sings to me. It shall be done. Very well. I shall do it. As you say. Father doesn't like begun. that. But he never met Kitty. Begun. I shall do it, as you say. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? It is begun. Very well. It is begun. I shall do it. Shall be done. It is begun. It shall be done. He is my best friend. I shall do it. It is begun. It shall be done. I shall do it. about the sun, silly. <laughs> Fading. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine! Kitty! You're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't!
freed her. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. Now we should go, and quickly... I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Not as much as it would think, there was running and screaming, and then days and days of watching the darkspawn prowl around. I would never have thought there could be something less interesting than the villagers. But there it was. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Oh, go on. It will be fun. Hey! And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... What should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Yes, very likely. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was, Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Yes, I'm just funny that way. 
I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. I am grateful. It is thoughtful in... A generous gift. Thank you ever so much. Blight, how will you end it? Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. 